Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaff, the Master 974, back again today and welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial and today what I'm going to do is outline how you can add Battlefield or Call of Duty style hit markers into your source mod. And I'm also going to cover a little extension where you can even include hit numbers as well. So I need to give a shout out and thank you to Critter Handstand 8965 who suggested this a long time ago. And also to warrior.png495 for suggesting this more recently. And I also need to give a thank you to Ferity for making the original guide on the Valve Developer Wiki, which I'll leave in the description. And also to Waddles for improving the code and adding the hit number functionality. So I'm going to go over the Valve Developer Wiki guide first, which is about adding the hit markers, and then get into adding hit numbers a little later. So the first thing you want to do is go to your source code directory and open up the game's solution, usual stuff. And then you want to go to the client project and then you want to add two new files. So you want to add a header file called hood underscore hit marker dot h and a source file called hood underscore hit marker dot cpp. And then go to the Valve Developer Wiki guide. As I said, it's in the description. And then you want to copy and paste the files as you see on the Valve Developer Wiki into the respective places as you'll see in the video hopefully as well even though it might be a bit sped up and then you want to go to hl2usermessages.cpp and at the bottom of the file with the user messages arrow register stuff after the last user messages line you want to add user messages arrow register of and then in speech marks show hit marker and then one, as you'll see in the video. And I'm just gonna be doing this for test purposes. I don't recommend you do this because the functionality I'm going to get to later is going to make this a bit redundant. But you want to go to your weapons and you have to go to each weapon individually. For example, go to weaponpistol.cpp. And in the class declaration, you want to add a function called void draw hit marker, passing through void inputs. And then you want to declare that function later on as void c weapon pistol colon colon draw hit marker again passing through void inputs and in this function you want to say a c base player called asterisk p player which equals to base player of get owner and then if p player is exactly equal to null then return and then this is just for multiplayer stuff if you choose to do this for multiplayer mods but you want to have hashtag if ndef of client dll and then hashtag endif and inside of this if statement create a c single user recipient filter called filter of p player then user message begin of filter and then in speech marks show hit marker then write byte of one and then message end and then inside of the primary attack function i believe the guide makes a bit of some redundancy here because it says that you have to create a new C base player called asterisk P player even though the code for the pistol at least already creates a C base player called asterisk P owner so I would just copy and paste the code from the guide which is basically what you add to the primary attack function but every instance of P player just replace it with P owner and that's going to be for multiplayer mods and there's a little bit of a section called uh, single player tweaks where you can basically copy and paste replace what's inside of the if tr.m underscore pnt section to make it so it checks if you're hitting npcs that hate you but with that being said and done there's actually one last thing you need to do which is you need to get a file called hoodanimations.txt now i don't think this is supplied by source 2013 at least the game files that you get by default so you need to go to your source 2013 single player and i believe multiplayer works as well but then you want to go to hl2 scripts and then copy over hood animations.txt into your source mods you know scripts folder but then inside of this file at the very bottom you want to add event of hit marker show and then inside the curly brackets animate hood hit marker alpha 255 linear 0 0.2 0 0.4 then one event hit marker hide 0 0.4 and then another event called hit marker hide and then in curly brackets animate 
would hit marker alpha 0 linear 0 0.2 0 0.4. So with these changes being made, you want to save this file, compile the code. And when you launch into a map, as long as you've made the changes to, for example, weapon pistol, then when you hit an enemy, you should see a hit marker on the screen about where the crosshair is. So I'll show some gameplay at this point where you can see this effect in action. So one thing that I have to say as a bit of a criticism of this feature in its current state is that if you hit enemies, for example, with the pistol, it can be difficult to see the hit markers because I play at 4K resolution and they're pretty small, but even if you blow the resolution up a little bit, sometimes you don't see them. And it also takes a bit of time for the hit markers to actually end up showing up again when you hit another target or hit an enemy with something like the SMG, for example. So with all that being said and done, that's how you would add at least the hit markers in a bare basic state. But thanks to Waddles, there's actually a way that you can improve this feature and even add the hit numbers. So let's get into what you need to do for that. So you'd want to go to hoodhitmarker.h and in the private section, you want to add int m underscore i damage, a vector called m underscore vec, and a VGUI colon colon H font called M underscore H font. And you can even change the RGBA parameters inside of the cPanel animation var line. So they read 250, 235, 235, and 255. Then inside of hoodhitmarker.cpp, you want to add hashtag include of fmtstr.h to the include section. And then you want to go to the apply scheme settings function and above the base class apply scheme settings line, you want to add m underscore h font equals vgui colon colon surface with brackets after it, then arrow create font, and then do vgui colon colon surface with brackets after it, arrow set font glyph set of m underscore h font, and then in speech marks a font that you want to use, for example, to Homer then size of the font and you can change this to whatever you want but let's go with 30 for now then 400 0 0 then vgui colon colon i surface colon colon font flag underscore outline as you'll see in the video and then you can put this anywhere but i choose to add this above the paint function but you want to add a const wchar underscore t called asterisk convert to wide passing through an input of a const char called asterisk input. And then in this function, you want to have static wchar underscore t called wide, which is an array of size 32. Then do mbs towcs of wide input and then 32 and then return wide. Then you also want to add a declaration for a function called int screen transform passing through inputs of a const vector and point, then vector and screen. And then you want to modify the paint function so it is like the following. So you want to, inside of the if m underscore b hit marker show function, you want to have this. So create a vector called screen pos and an int result which equals screen transform of m underscore vec then screen pos then if result is exactly equal to one then return because one means it's behind the camera and we don't want to draw a hit marker if we can't see where the actual damage is being taken then create an int called x which equals an int of 0.5f multiplied by and then in brackets 1.0f plus screen pos.x and then outside of that brackets asterisk screen width and then an int called y which equals again an int of 0.5f multiplied by and then in brackets 1.0f minus screen pos.y and then outside of the brackets multiplied by screen height and you'll see what I mean in the video here. Then you don't want to make any changes to the VGUI surface stuff that's what I'm going to refer to it as now. But after that, you want to add a VGUI surface arrow draw set text font of M underscore H font. Then VGUI surface arrow draw set text color of M underscore hit marker color. Then VGUI surface arrow draw set text pos of X, then Y. 
then create a const wchar underscore t called asterisk text, which equals convert to void of cfmt str of, and then in speech marks percent d, and then after the speech marks comma m underscore i damage, as you'll see in the video, and then do vgui surface arrow draw print text of text, then wcs len of text. Then outside of the paint function, you want to add a convar called CL show hit marker, which is inside of speech marks, CL show hit marker, and then another set of speech marks one. So this defines a convar that is enabled by default, which determines if the hit markers should be shown or not. And then inside of the MSG func underscore show hit marker function, you want to make these changes. So underneath M underscore B hit marker show, you want to add a ball alive, which equals msg dot read byte. Then m underscore i damage equals msg dot read byte. Then do msg dot read bit vec free coord of m underscore vec. Then if exclamation mark cl show hit marker dot get ball, then return. And then if alive, m underscore hit marker color dot set color of 250, 235, 235, 255. Else, m underscore hit marker color dot set color of 250, 10, 10, 255. So if the hit marker is displayed when the enemy is alive, then it has a mostly white color. Otherwise, if the hit marker is displayed when the enemy is killed, then it's going to have a red color. And then that's all the changes you want to make there. And now you just want to go back to hl2 user messages.cpp and modify the show hit marker register line that we did earlier to change the one to a minus one. And if you did add any of the draw hit marker code that I suggested earlier that you don't actually want to add, then you want to remove all of this at that point. And then you want to go to base entity.cpp and you want to find the take damage function. Then after the if exclamation mark g underscore p game rules and return line, you want to add an int called prev health, short for previous health, which equals get health. And then at the very end of the function, you want to add a C base player called asterisk p player, which equals util underscore get local player. This only works in single player mods. So maybe by the time this code gets added to the GitHub, don't know when that's gonna be. I'll make the change to make this work for multiplayer mods as well. But for now, let's just focus on the single player version where this is what you would do to create a pointer to the player. Then you wanna have if input info dot get attacker is exactly equal to p player and is NPC and prev health does not equal get health, then we wanna do the following. And what this if statement is saying is, if the attacker is the player, if the base entity is an NPC, and if the health has changed, then display the hit marker. So that's what we're gonna do here. So you wanna create a C single user recipient filter called filter of P player. Then create a vector pos, which equals input info dot get damage position. And then if get abs origin dot dist two of pos is greater than 100, then set pos to be equal to i position and then do pos.z minus equals 25. And then do user message begin of filter and then in speech marks show hit marker. Then do write byte of one, write byte of is alive, write byte of clamp and then in angled brackets int of input info dot get damage, zero, then get max health and then do write vec free coord of pos and then message end. Now we want to go back to hood animations.txt, which is what we modified earlier to add the hit marker show and hit marker hide events. And all you want to do is change the 0.2 and 0.4 in the animate line of hit marker show so that they have 0.05 and 0.2 instead. And also in the run event line for hit marker hide, just change the 0.4 to 0.2. And then in the hit marker hide event, change the animate line. So the 0.2 and 0.4 are changed to 0.0 and 0.2. Then you can save and compile, load into a map. And then what you should see is, regardless of what weapon you use, if you hurt an NPC, 
they'll have a hit marker and the hit marker will be displayed at the position where the bullet hit the NPC. And there'll also be a numeric value basically telling you how much damage that attack did. And that's pretty much all there is to this feature. So let me know what you think about this in the comments section down below. Hopefully you found the video helpful and you can follow along with what's going on. Again, massive thank you to Parity for making the original guide and to Waddles for helping out with making the improvements. And that's all I really need to say. So take care of there, peace out, see you later, have a great day and hopefully you'll check out another video soon.